Hey faceting friends, today I have the unique opportunity of doing a faceting machine unboxing. I've never done this before, uh, at least on video. This is probably maybe only the second machine that I've ever had brand new out of the box, uh, which is kind of amazing considering all of the machines that I now have in my collection, but I had the opportunity to get this uh, Vesta VFM2 from Vietnam. And so it just arrived today, and so I thought, if I'm gonna open it up, why don't I share this with you guys, and we can see together what the machine looks like as it comes right out of the box. So let's check this out. So they put it into a pretty heavy duty um, shipping crate. So you, you're gonna need a hammer in order to open this thing up. Okay, so let's see what we have in the box. So, first thing right on top, there's a nice packet, instruction manual, lots of photos in there, so it should be some good setup. Packing materials. It feels a little bit like Christmas morning with all these packages. So let's see what's inside each one. Now this is, I've never seen one of these in real life. Part of my, part, part of my reasoning behind getting this machine is because I had seen it being used by some friends of mine in Vietnam. I checked out the specs. The machine looks really cool online, but I thought, okay, I really want to check it out. I, want, I really want to do it a review and you know just compare it to other mass style machines that I've used before. Okay we've got a water drip tank. Okay let's see what this is all about. We've got okay I'm guessing these are gonna be the mast. And we can take the plastic off of flash guys. So yeah, as I was saying, this machine online looks really cool. It looks very comparable to, you know, something like a Facetron or a... a a V2. So I'll do another video later where I actually, you know, once I've once I've used the machine a little bit and gotten familiar with all its features, I'm gonna do a, a more detailed uh, first impression and kind of walk through of, of what's in the what's in you know the components and how it works. But for today, I just wanted to share this moment of joy with you guys where I actually get to open a new toy for the first time. Okay, interesting. There's a digital indicator inside, so I'm, I'm wondering maybe if in, in the instructions there's some calibration, some calibration stuff in the manual. So okay, let's check that out later. Okay, the mast head. Wow, looks pretty cool. I haven't seen this one in real life. So this is the this is the <clears throat> model two. So they had another model that came out a couple of years ago, and I guess they've made some improvements. So this is the second series. So I have one friend here who had the original one. So we're going to get together and, and compare how does the new one compare to the old. One. Okay, so we actually have the mask. So this looks to be pretty similar to the Ultratech style where it, it uh, 
slides into the base. Actually, let me rearrange this a little bit. Huh? Oh, so there's more hidden boxes under there. Pretty. Okay, we're not we're not done yet. So, but we can see how this is going to sit. And we've got water drip tank in there that's going to attach into this bit. Okay, set of wrenches, that's kind of handy. Digital inclinometer. Looks like tubes for the motor, uh, some screws, I think they really have, have done this before they've considered, ooh, this is nice. Okay, so we've got the full dop set with a dop holder. This is just a simple piece of wood, but it's been lacquered so it's smooth and sort of waterproof so 15 dops we've got flat dops cone dops and v dops okay that's nice okay we've got our tabling adapter aluminum that looks pretty cool Finally, transfer block. Okay, so everything's, it looks like, okay, we've got a wooden base. Um, I don't know if this is an aluminum top or a steel top, off the top, you know, just visually. Um, the aluminum transfer block, the aluminum masthead which has angles oh, I'm gonna really have to look through this and see all the functions it's a, it's familiar but it has a little bit of unique features here but I see fine adjustment I see fine adjustment height here um, so yeah it'll be interesting to see how this all fits together so So since I knew this machine was coming, I already had a desk prepared, so my fasting station can now consist of two different machines on two different desks that are both sort of camera ready. So if I want to do some instructional videos on the mask machine, I can do that, or if I want to do instructional videos with the handpiece machine, I don't have to move the gear around too much. It looks like it's got a two prong, um, I guess this is a European style plug with the third pin, the third grounding pin will come in from the actual outlet side. So I'm not sure how the adapter will work for a US plug, but let's find out. Okay, so just checking out the manual and seeing if it actually has instructions on how to put it together or if it's just how to use it. Step-by-step -step page of instructions for actually how to put it all together. So let's just go through and see how to do this. So they recommend you just wipe everything down before you put it together with a cloth. So. Okay, so here you can see I put the whole machine together. And I know one of the one of the features that I noticed instantly that's new is because it's not in the manual is the addition of the uh, the dial that basically works like a depth gauge. So as you lift, 
you're gonna be able to use this to tell you how close you've gotten to zero. It's actually quite clever. Uh, really simple use of pre-existing tools. But yeah, it's interesting. We'll see how that works. So the the drip, the drip tank comes with the tube that can be cut to the desired length. So I'd probably cut it somewhere around, around right there. And then when you want to loosen the base, it looks like you just twist. Then you can loosen it and then just tighten it again. And it's stable and strong. All the accessories that we need, the dops, the transfer block, the tabling adapter. And then aside from all that, we've got some tools that came with it. Three extra belts for the motor, small screwdriver, and a nice multi-tool wrench so that you can tighten and loosen all of the different parts that need to be loosened. So all in all, looks like a good machine. I'm excited to give it a try. Go through the manual a little bit and see if I missed anything and clean up the mess just like the end of Christmas morning so I hope you guys enjoyed that unboxing I know for me that was quite fun just to be able to pull it out and unwrap it all and so it, now I'm gonna get into um, seeing how, how the machine actually functions so I'll make another video maybe in a week or so once I've given the machine a few tests and you know, compare it to the old one, see how it looks, and just give my final thoughts. But it's looking to be a pretty promising machine at a very competitive price. So let's see how it does. This is Justin Prim from Bangkok. See you guys next time.